Hello everyone, Fox here, and welcome back to some more Danganronpa V3. I hope you all had a wonderful couple of weeks. Oh, oh I guess I'm not clicking the screen. There we go. Anywho, <laughs> we'll get right back into this. So last time, um, basically we did a little bit of Chapter Four stuff and. Last thing that happened was Kokichi was up to something, as he always is. But we have more free time to hang out with people, so we're gonna hang out with uh, probably either Himiko or Maki. Uh, hi. And once again, because it's been so long, I'm trying to remember all the buttons. Button, button, who's got the button? Uh, let's see, where is everybody? Wait, was that Maki? Yep, okay, so Maki's in the dining hall. And let's see, she's in the computer lab, that makes sense. And yeah, she's just on the top floor next to our, uh... Next to our thing, so I guess we'll hang out with... I should also check what presents I have. I believe the last thing I gave her was a broom, was it? Or was it birdseed? I should really remember these things. Um, I think it was birdseed because we were in her room and I saw the birds. So yeah, I think this time I should give her the magic broom. Hopefully. <laughs> if I mess it up, oh well. It happens. So let us go on up. Uh, where is she? You said she was in this hallway, right? Give me, give me go. Oh, apparently it puts you over there. Huh, that's interesting. Anywho, oh, my controller's acting up. That's new. Anywho, um, just to double check. Uh, if this goes well, uh, this will max. This will be our first character to max out, and then we can work on Mo uh, Maki. I'm a mage. There's one thing I can do. I'll support you with my magic. Gonna hang out with Himiko for a while? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Eh, leave it to me. Nothing's impossible with my magic. But there's a limit to even my magical powers. Make sure you understand that. I believe I understand quite well. Uh, I spent some time with Himiko. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. I will definitely give her a present. Hopefully she's not too upset by get getting this broom. Oh, this is it! The item I needed! Yeah. Not bad! Please bring me more stuff to increase my magic stat. Is that all right? Himiko, there's something I have to tell you, no matter what happens. Wh what? Uh, what? D don't tell me you fell for me. Wait. No, it's not that. It's something about your master. Eh? Yeah? Eh? My master? Okay. Yes, I was thinking about your story. Perhaps your master is training in secret so that he can perform with you again. Miko's face didn't change. She must be thinking the same thing. Maybe just hoping. Mm. Uh, you're, you might be right. Yes, I'm sure of it. That's true. Yeah? How can you be so sure? I think. Do detectives have magic to read people's souls? Miko's expression brightened just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Don't worry, I'll refrain from using that magic. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it either. I can't even find my master using my magic. That's probably because he doesn't want me to find him. Like you said, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he's training in secret. I thought of that too. Okay. That's why you're focused on improving your magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's... Your master is polishing up his magic too, Himiko. To perform with you again. That's why you need to continue working hard as a magician. 
Magic tricks are what connect you and your uh, to your master. Uh, that must be why she's never too lazy to do magic. Right? Am I wrong? No. You're wrong. Huh? Huh? It's magic. It's not magic tricks. It's real magic. Oh. Uh, sorry. You're right. Real magic. Jeez. Oh, That's right. Jeez. When will you get it? Then. Well, anyway. We have to get out of here soon. So you can perform together. Hmm. You're hmm. right. You're right. I'm gonna be oh. more positive and work harder. I'll support you with my magic. You can rely on me, okay? Okay. Alright, Himiko. Thank you. Himiko and... Bleh. Himiko and I are both focused on the same goal. Getting out of here. It's because of our bond that we can stand together like this. If I put my trust in this bond, I know we can overcome anything. Alright. One bond fully finished. Learned Abracadabra. Well, I'll have to read up on what that does. Kimiko and I parted ways and I returned to my room. Of course. That, that's just how it works. Hello. Awesome. Thanks, Sancto. Uh, Sancto from? I believe that's how you say that. Uh, I'm excited to see what that skill is. Oh, nope, that's the wrong button. Every time. So I guess now we can just uh. Spend all of our free time with Maki until she's maxed out. Um, skill list. There we go. Okay, abracadabra. After enough time, the correct truth... <laughs> the correct truth bullet will be shown! Effective for non-stop uh, mass panic debates and rebuttal showdowns. I mean, Rebuttal Showdowns is probably the most helpful that's going to be for, because those are the ones that I usually mess up on. Yeah, but it's not like I have anything else to spend those points on. Yeah, real, real good. You're right. Okay, um, so, Himik- or not Himikau, uh... Monkey. Jeez, I couldn't think of the names. Let's try it. Not gonna get anywhere if I don't do anything. Okay, so basically just think of it like she is the ultimate child caregiver. I mean, that's a good way to uh, think about it, I guess. No, not you, Gunta. No. She's in my room. Hey, <laughs> who said you could be in there? It's sort of strange that Monokuma hasn't done anything to us yet. Also, the motive key card key that Kokichi took is somewhere out there. Okay, I think I have one of those. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yeah. It's fine as long as nothing happens. But maybe I'm just overthinking this. I'm not gonna try to kill you. I spend some time with Maki. Oh, awesome, thank you. Also, the numbers are gonna help a lot. I think I'll save the... Th uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but if I try to give her the same gift twice, that makes her upset, correct? I might want to hold off on loved items. So... Oh, you can just keep giving the same gift over and over again? If that's the case, that makes this way easier. Because <laughs> I have a lot of this one. Oh, sweet. Awesome. 
That makes this way easier. Well, thank you. I'll cherish this. Got a minute? Why are you surprised? I got something I like. So of course I'm going to thank you for it. Hmm. I didn't know that assassins were scouted. That's right. It's better if you didn't know. Also, there's no need for you to know. But gathering children from orphanages. I couldn't believe it. Hmm. hmm. Do you want me to surprise you even more then? Huh? Huh? Well, the orphanage I was raised in uh, raised at was run for that reason. Uh, um... What do you mean? Okay. To raise potential candidates as assassins. What? You don't know? The cult donates uh, to the orphanage as charity. That's believable, right? The amount of work I put in is the amount of charity given. That's how the exchange goes. Hmm. I see. How much is Maki carrying on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. If I remember correctly. You said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? What? Are you asking if he raised me as an assassin? No. N no, that's not what I meant. <sighs> you don't need to be so serious. That man scouted me and put me in a training, fa in a training facility. That's... I remember you saying that training was quite harsh. That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. Basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They physically beat us to help us withstand torture and taught us how to die when needed. Huh? How to die? Because. The only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? Dying sooner is the nicer way out. Much better than being tortured alive. That's... So you... You were trained to withstand torture? What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No. Uh, no. Thank you. I'll, I'll pass. I think I'll pass. I can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. Well... After they tortured us, all I could do after was just stare at the room ceiling. I tried to break... Uh, they tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty. But even then, I found myself. And then, they would do it all over again. It wouldn't have been strange if I broke during all the torture. But even so, I tried my best. I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. But more importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. Huh? That girl. Sorry. Sorry, pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. But... What? But... Shut up. It's fine. Just pretend. Okay. Alright, I understand. Well then... Yikes. That's a big yikes for me. Reeling from Maki's incredible story, I returned to my room. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. 